Hello, everyone. My name is Felita Danieli, and I am your host for the upcoming virtual vision board workshop scheduled to be held this Saturday, which is January 1st, 2022 at 11 a.m. Let me just first say that I am excited about this vision board workshop because it's actually been a couple of years since I've actually done a vision board workshop. So, of course, we all know that um, 2020 and 2021, we were highly affected by COVID. And then, of course, we're currently going through some issues now as well. But one way that you can actually get together and um, set your goals, put everything on your vision on board is by participating in this virtual vision board workshop. So I am excited. I am looking forward to meeting you. I am looking forward to connecting with you. And more than anything, I'm looking forward to having some fun with you on this coming Saturday. So I wanted to come out and record this video and share some informa information with you so that you can prepare for the vision board workshop. First of all, the first thing I want to um, ask you to do is to please block out at least two and a half hours of your time, okay? It's going to be really, really important that you do that. And the reason why I ask you that is because I want your full participation. I really do want your full participation. If you really want to get the nuts and the bolts of actually creating a powerful vision board, you're going to need to set aside uninterrupted time. So I kindly ask that you get a babysitter, um, block out that time so that you can give your full undivided attention to creating your masterpiece, okay? The second thing I wanna to mention to you is that if you um, registered early, well, of course, if you're receiving this um, video, you are already registered. Okay, you probably have received um, a cancellation today that the vision board workshop has been canceled. I want to let you know that that went out in error. I actually had two meetings scheduled and I deleted one of the meetings and I did not realize that with me deleting that other meeting that it will send out the emails to the participants canceling the, the, the vision board workshop. So I wanna let you know, please disregard that email. The vision board workshop is not canceled. We are still on and we will be meeting this Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? The next thing I would like for you to do is to confirm your attendance. What happens is because when I, whenever I post a free event, I have a lot of random people, random people scheduling, they go and register to participate in the meeting, but they really don't have good intentions of actually participating. And I need for you to actually, number one, reply by commenting on this video that you are confirmed and you will be there. Um, or either number two, you can reply via email. Either way, I will still get the message. I just need to confirm that you will be there. I do understand that sometimes at the last minute, people's schedules change and that's okay. I do understand that. But if your schedule has changed and you will not be able to attend, all I need for you to do is just reply to me and let me know that you will not be able to attend. This way, it will open up more space for those people who are really, really interested in participating. I only have a small meeting room. My meeting room only holds 50 people. And so sometimes when people who don't have good intentions of, a, of attending, and then of course, when we have cancellations, that space has already been reserved specifically for you. So I wanna make sure that those who really want to attend, I wanna make sure that we open up space and create enough space for them to participate, okay? So I kindly ask you, 
to please reply to me via email to confirm your attendance that you will be there. Or if you will not be able to make it, just let me know that you will not be able to make it so that I can go ahead and remove your name from the list and open up that space for someone else, okay? And then also, again, this helps me to weed out those people who are not, um, really who don't have good intentions of actually attending. Okay, great. I appreciate that. Now, the next thing I would like to mention to you is to please get your supplies. You may already have um, some poster boards on hand. These are the things you're going to need. I want to ask you to please bring with you a notebook, a notebook, okay? Something that you can actually take notes in. I'm trying to find a notebook of mine. This is an actual notebook, okay? So please be, bring with you a notebook, not just a piece of paper, a notebook, because you're going to, excuse me, you're going to receive a handout, but most, uh, the challenge I've had when I do the workshops uh, virtually is that a lot of people say they don't have access to a printer to print out the handout. So I will have everything in a presentation available for you. So even if you don't have the opportunity to print it out yourself at home, you can still take notes by using your notebook. Okay, so bring with you a notebook, um, a couple of pens, just in case one of your pens stop working so that you won't miss any parts of the, uh, the workshop. Okay, now you can purchase your supplies at any one of the dollar stores. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, any place where you find that they sell um, crafts, office supplies. I always go to the dollar store because you can get poster boards for like 69 cents at the dollar store. Okay, so you can go to the dollar store. Make sure that you have plenty of glue sticks and also that you have scissors. Those are going to be your supplies that you're going to need. Also, if you have any type of crafts or uh, any type of crafts or anything like that that you'd like to include on your board, you can bring that along as well. You can always add additional things to your board later on down the road, but these are just going to be the main uh, supplies that you'll need to get your vision board started, okay? So make sure that you've got your notebook prepared, a couple of pens, your poster board, you can have two poster boards. If you've got a huge vision and you've got a lot of stuff you wanna put on your board, then buy a couple of them. As a matter of fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea to purchase two poster boards anyway, cause sometimes you, know, you may end up messing up one and you decide you wanna do something new, okay? Then make sure you've got extra glue sticks. You can find glue sticks, a pack of four sometimes at the Dollar Tree, okay? Sometimes those don't work as well as the, I think it's the Elmer's, they actually work better. But whatever you have, um, just bring that, make sure that you have that available. Make sure you've got some good scissors as well. Now, in the past, when I would do live, uh, when I would do my workshops live, I would always bring all of the magazines, the old magazines. So if you don't have any old magazines, I am going to show you in this video how to actually collect images, copy and paste the images onto your um, copy, how to copy and paste the images onto a Word document, and then you can print them out and then cut them out and then paste them on your board. I'm going to show you that in a second, okay? Um, the next thing I wanted to share with you is that you will receive your handout by this Friday, okay? I am going to be sending out um, via email um, a handout, which is basically, um, it's like a little booklet in PDF form, okay? You will be able to print this out and you can take notes in it, you can write in it, all of that good stuff. This is specifically for you um, to use as a guide for the workshop, okay? And then um, I want to also encourage you that when you join in 
for the workshop, please join in via a laptop computer or either a desktop computer. Please do not join with a cell phone because you will not be able to give your full undivided attention trying to switch from you know, um, and then of course your hands won't be free as well. So you want to make sure that your hands are free so that you can easily take notes and you don't have to worry about trying to prop a phone up somewhere. So please get to a, um, get to make sure that you have a laptop computer or a desktop computer to participate in the workshop. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I want to take a couple of minutes and show you how you need to find your images. Now, a vision board basically is just, um, it's a board full of, uh, it's a tool full of pictures and images and um, powerful, encouraging um, words to inspire you um, on your day-to-day -day journey, okay? And it it's a constant reminder to keep you focused on what you set your intentions to do, okay? So that's one of the main purposes of using a vision board. So in on this vision board, you want to have photos. You want to have a lot of pictures of the things that you want to manifest. It could be such as you might have a desire to buy a new home. You might have a desire to get married one day. You might have a desire to have children. You might have a desire to um, uh, better your career, to get a better job. You might have a desire to start your own business. You might have a desire to get healthy and start eating better and exercising. Whatever your goals are, I want you to start pulling together your images of what you're going to use for your vision board. So one of the ways that we're going to do it, since this is going to be a virtual, since this is going to be a virtual workshop, one of the ways that you can do it is by using Google Images. Okay, so I am going to show you how to search and find these images to go in to a Word document that you can use in a Word document for your vision board, okay? All right, so I am going to share my screen with you right now. And um, let me see here, let me go to, let's see here, let me go to, hold on one second here. Let me close this out and let me open up this screen. And I also need to open up a blank Word document. Hold on one second, I apologize. I should have had this done in advance, but it totally slipped my mind. So I'm going to do a new document. Okay, all right, so this is my Word document. So, um, see here hold on one second let me share my screen again and let's see here i am looking for here so i'm going to go here and i am going to open up a new let's see here i hope you can see this so let me go to um, i'm going to go to google google.com, okay? So you can go to google.com forward slash images, okay? So when you go to Google images, let me make sure that you can see this here. Um, hold on one second here. So when you go to, let me stop sharing for one second and make sure that you are able to see my screen. Let me do this one more time here. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I am at Google Images. So again, you want to just go to www.google.com forward slash images. And this is what's going to populate. OK, so when you get to Google Images that let's just say, for instance, you, your goal is to manifest 
a love relationship. So we're going to type in um, love relationship. Okay. And you're going to see images of all of these beautiful images of people in love. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the image. You can continue to scroll down and you'll see all of these different images here. So depending on what you want to choose, let's say for instance, you wanna choose this particular image here. So what you're going to do is take your mouse and you're going to right click on your mouse and you're gonna move the, the mouse up to copy image. Okay, so we're gonna click on copy image. Then what you're going to do, make sure you have your blank Word document open. And then we're gonna go back into our Word document and we're going to right click again and then it'll come up paste options. And when you see this little picture right here, you wanna click on that because that will allow you to paste that picture that you just copied. So you just paste it right there on that document. So what you wanna make sure that you do is save it as your, save it onto your computer and then you're gonna name it your 2022 vision board photos, okay? And that's how you're going to save it. You're gonna give it a name. So again, you're gonna go up here, let's say for instance, if you're looking for a new home, okay? So you're gonna type in new homes, okay? So you're gonna browse through all of these beautiful homes here and you're going to select, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to select the home that you desire, have a desire to have, okay? So let's just say this one here, okay? So I am going to copy this image. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna move it down to copy image, okay? And I'm gonna come back into my Word document which means you got to make sure that you keep that Word document open, okay? Um, go back into your Word document and then right-click again and paste it into this document, okay? Now, sometimes the images will come in large, so you just have to kind of move your cursor over uh, where you see these little round dots here. Move it there and minimize the photo so that the photos are small enough to fit on your vision board because you don't want to have extremely large photos. You want to make sure that they are small enough to be able to um, get them to fit on your vision board. Okay, and you can pull this one up. You can change the sizes of all of your, your images. Okay, so let's go back in and, and do another one. Let's close this out and um, let me see here, let me close this out. So we're gonna go in and do another one. So let's say for instance, we want to focus on nutrition, okay? So um, let's see here, we've got a beautiful photo here of um, really nice fruits and vegetables. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna copy it. And then we're gonna go back into our Word document here and we're going to paste it. So you're gonna, when you get, here in Word, you wanna make sure that your cursor is at the end of the photo and then press enter or return and then paste that, um, paste that image right here. And I don't know if that one will paste, that one didn't do right. So I need to go back into the document again. I need to go back there again. So let me go here. So you have to open it up and then right click and then copy image and then go back into your Word document and then uh, paste it into your Word document. Okay, see this one is, is really, really big. So you gotta pull it down to minimize it. So just keep pulling it down until it's small enough until you get it to the size that you need for it to uh, go on your vision board. Okay, so that one is, that one's gonna be a little wide, okay? Um, so let's do one more. Um, let's say, for instance, your goal is to, you want to make sure that you have a social life where you're meeting new friends and 
Um, you're going on social or participating in different social events or whatever. Okay, so you go through here and you find some, this one would be a good one here, friends. I know that that was actually a program, so we can copy this one. So if you're, you know, if you know that, uh, if you know that you need to really get out and meet new people, then um, this one, you know, something like this would be good as well. So we right click and copy, and then we're going to go back into our Word document, make this a little bit smaller, and remember to put your cursor at the end of the photo and then do a return or enter. And then we're gonna right click and we're gonna paste that photo here. Now this one again is an extremely large photo. So we need to minimize it and bring it, make it much smaller. This one may not even be able to minimize. It's so large. So if you get really, really large photos like this, you're gonna to have to keep, keep pulling on it to minimize it, okay? So there we go. So you're probably going to have several pages of images, depending on what your, you know, what your vision is. So we're going to be looking at several different categories. We're going to be looking at number one, your spiritual life. We're going to be looking at your personal development. We're going to be looking at your money. Um, your finances. We're going to be looking at your health. We're going to be looking at um, your environment. We're going to be looking at your emotional health, mental health. We're going to be looking at all of those different categories, which a lot of times when people do vision boards, they only think of cars and money. No, vision board has a lot to do with your entire life. So we're going to really be focusing on um, a lot of those things that a lot of people really don't even think about, okay? So we're going to be um, expounding on all of that, okay? So that is your homework for you to do between now and Saturday morning. Remember, we start at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday morning, which is New Year's Day, okay? And again, please set aside about two and a half to three hours of your time. Now, we probably will end it right at about 1.30 um, because you're probably gonna need more time to bring your board together. I am a little slow when it comes to putting my board because I put a lot of thought process into what I want to go on my board. So, but I do say that you'll need, the first hour will be dedicated to um, um, the written part where we'll be putting a lot of our thoughts on paper. Um, and then the next hour, we will be focused on bringing it all together and cutting and pasting and forming and creating our masterpiece, which is our vision board. Okay. All right. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. And I so look forward to meeting you. I so look forward to getting to know you. And um, I look forward to seeing you on Saturday morning. Okay. So again, thank you again for your time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to respond to my email address. And again, please remember to reply to me to let me know what your status is currently, if you will still be attending the vision board workshop, or if your schedule has changed and you will not be attending the workshop so that we can create space. Cause we already have 45 people registered. And I know probably by Friday, we're probably going to be full. So let's just open up that space, be considerate of other people and let's open up some space and allow others to participate when we cannot participate, okay? All right, so I wanna thank you for your time. Again, my name is Felita Danieli. I look forward to meeting you on Saturday and until then, you take care and you take charge and I'll see you on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Bye for now.